What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy, Saxis, and I got Queen Nina with me today, and you are now tuned in to Saxis TV. All right, so today, I want to get into home defense and firearm safety, and I'm about to give y'all the top firearm safety tips. Number one is always treat a gun as if it's loaded. No matter what, always treat a gun as if it's loaded because what you don't want to do is have the gun misfire or just, you know, it goes off and it could hurt someone or something and you don't want to deal with that. Number two, always make sure that the gun is pointed in a safe direction when loaded. If not loaded, just by spiritual reasons, some people have their own superstitions. They don't want guns pointed at them in general. Don't point the gun or have it pointed in no unsafe direction, even if it's unloaded. Let's go to number three. Number three. Never, 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 never touch the trigger unless you're ready to shoot. Other than that. And that would be shooting purposes only. Your finger needs to be over here on the side. No, you don't need to know what gun I'm working with. The point is an example of me teaching and trying to spread knowledge. But that's number three. Let's get to number four. I can't stress this one enough. Number four. Keep the gun unloaded until ready to use. Now, let me take you to a quick little story time. So... I was actually holding one in the head because we live in this lifestyle now where we, you know, a lot of us listen to rap music or even past rap music. It went to different cultures. Keep one in the head. Always be ready. Stay ready so you don't have to get ready. A round went the fuck off one time. Thank God my kids wasn't hurt. I wasn't hurt. No one wasn't hurt. The problem in the area was patched up and I never lived like that ever again. So don't live like that. Unless you live in that war life. You don't have to live like that. No bullshit. When y'all shooting, be careful of what the fuck y'all shooting at. Now, let me put it into correct terms. When you're aiming your gun and you have it pointed at something, be sure of what your target is and what's beyond that. What's behind that. Because bullets can go through people and hit other people and other people and other people. Don't do that. And I want to just get into your home defense plan. I feel as though everybody needs this. Uh, I'm sure a lot of you have heard of a bug out bag or a survival bag. Your basic home defense needs would be flashlight or flashlights if you have multiple people with you. Even, fuck that, the multiple people. You, by yourself, you should have multiple flashlights. If you have a gun, get a gun, get bullets for that gun, get more guns and bullets for those guns, and learn how to fuck to use them. If you don't have a gun, um, unfortunately, for whatever reason you don't like guns or you're a felon or something like that... Fall in love with knives, you know, bow and arrows, you know, look on YouTube. You can make weapons all day, every day. I'm not trying to have a men in black at my door. Make sure you have a bleeding control kit or a turner kit. So if you bleed, you'll be able to stop the bleeding and you can somehow give yourself first aid until you get to a better situation where you can help yourself in better ways. A cell phone. Uh, if the EMP happens, fuck the cell phone. But a cell phone, just in case it's something simple, you need to call a loved one or somebody you can meet up with and make like a survival team or something, some Walking Dead type shit. No, for real, seriously. Uh, some of us don't have access to this, but body armor. <laughs> you can get it online. You can go buy it at any one of your Army, Navy stores and stuff like that. So it all depends on where you at in the world. You have to get it from different resources. If not, you can make your own. 
I'm still studying some of that shit, so don't expect me to tell you how to make it. Just go on YouTube and type in how to make body armor, and you can buy that shit from like your local wear uh, hardware store, and you can put that shit together. And extra clothing. Make sure you got extra clothing. What you don't want to do is be funky and feel dirty and not be able to fully pay attention to your surroundings during this apocalypse. Oh, because it's here. We're already at war with Russia. North Korea don't like us. I'm sure there's other people that don't like us. And shit is about to hit the roof for us in America. By America. So. And uh, if you're quarantined, make sure y'all get a lot of canned goods. Don't go and get the microwavable shit. Because like I said, if electricity go out, you fucked. Make sure you get canned goods. Um, if you feel as though you or your family eat certain things that will expire in a short amount of time like you know uh dairy products or bread or certain stuff like that eat that get rid of it you know like in your body of course but the most important thing would be you know things that are sealed that you can hold on to and um i love y'all uh holla at y'all another time I'm going to start coming to y'all with these more often. Um, I don't know if you noticed it. You can hear it all up in here. Uh, I don't fuck with the hospitals. Y'all already know how that go. And none of this government shit. Uh, they would call it COVID. I don't think it's COVID. I've been had sinusitis since a young boy. They was been supposed to go on my nose and surgically like use a laser and burn vessels that swell up that would make my sinuses be as bad as they are. But um, I never went to go get it. So I don't know if y'all can hear that. But I just wanted to bring this to you. I was supposed to bring this to y'all yesterday. I was supposed to bring this to y'all yesterday. To all my Team Stacks TV supporters. But it's here today. And I want y'all to use this information and go over it with your loved ones. Just simple stuff. Simple stuff. I want to get you into it. We'll get deeper as y'all come into the room and pay more attention. I don't want to just be giving out information just to be giving it out. So... It's just the simple stuff. We'll get into more of the intermediate uh, and more of the expert shit later down the line this year and, you know, the forward years and stuff like that. I love y'all. It's Beamer Gang. You're right now. Staxis TV.